you strike me down now, I will become more powerful than your leaven. Monkey Dragon. Hey YouTubers, it's me, Monkey Dragon here, bringing you uh, a Black Ops 2 multiplayer, the reveal trailer analysis. I originally did upload the original trailer, but due to apparent copyright rules that don't apply to other users, <laughs> I got a strike against me because I uploaded it. So I, when I deleted the video, the strike was taken away from me. But I seen all the other people having it. But anyway, so what I decided to do is just not show the trailer. And what I'm going to be doing is showing the images from the trailer and giving my analysis on everything that I've seen. If there's something I missed, let me know. But also take in mind that YouTube is freaking weird in the sense that the images, when you show images in YouTube, it's weird. It doesn't really show the image. It's, it's all messed up. So I'm sorry if my voice and the images that are shown on the screen aren't matching up. Because when you show a single still image on YouTube, it thinks you're trying to change the the thumbnail, so it messes it all up. So I'm sorry if my voice and the images that are shown aren't lined up exactly. But um, let's get right into it. Okay, this first image is of the custom class, of the very first one they show you. It is going to be like Modern Warfare 3 in the sense of the trailer, if you've already seen or if you haven't. Um, it's going to show you the custom classes, what they're using and everything, just... A rough three-dimensional image of what it is and you see what this guy's using it and after watching this video a couple times I've been able to figure out how the custom classes exactly work right here is an image of the custom classes the blank blank setup of how it is I made this myself I know it's not exactly perfect but that's what it looks like you have your primaries uh, weapon up in the top corner and then underneath that you have three boxes for three attachments then underneath that you have your secondary your two attachments on your secondary your three kill streaks on the bottom and then at the right you have six perk choices that you can choose and then underneath that you have your equipment uh, for each one and then right next to that you have your next equipment that you can choose in that same slot okay the way this works is they do give you 10 points and to put to whatever you want but the catch is you only get the 10 points in the sense of you can every single box there is one point. So you could choose what you want. So you could choose all six perks, all three um, kill streaks, and then choose one weapon or one equipment or something like that. You get what I'm saying? So you can choose the weapon, the three attachments, three perks. What's that? That's seven. So then you can choose three kill streaks right there. There's your class. But you don't have a secondary or equipment. You get that many boxes let me see uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen woohoo nineteen okay you get nineteen choices there there may be more but i didn't see them you get nineteen choices for what you want but you only get ten options of not ten options but ten things that you can fill up and that's the way the custom class works okay guys this next image is of a type of stun. It looks like a throwing knife slash EMP. It has the same animation as a tomahawk or a throwing knife, whatever you want to call it. But all it does is you throw it. I, it might kill some if you hit with it. I don't know. But it looks like you can throw it into walls or you throw it into the ground or other surfaces. And it sticks there and then detonates. It looks like it stuns them and it looks like an EMPs them followed up by this next image that you see here. By the explosion that's happening, it looks like it has an electrical charge to it that it does, you know, EMP them. But it also looks like it stuns them because later on in the video or just a couple seconds later on in the video, it you sees that they can't really move. Okay, guys, in this next image, it does look like my worst fears are coming true. You are going to have x-ray on multiple different guns because this is obviously not a sniper rifle. This is, I think, an assault rifle. But as you can see, if you look in the sight to the right, you can see a person coming through the wall. You can see right through him. It's not like he's big and obvious and easily noticeable, but if you pay attention, you can see him. And if you did watch the video, you can see that it pulsates. It's not one continuous stream where you get to see where they are. It's a pulse, almost like a UAV, but probably a little bit faster. Um, it does not look like it can see out to unlimited range. It does look like it does have a range to the scope. But it is good that it does not look like it is overpowered the way I thought, that you'd be able to just look around and see where everyone is, which I do like. Although, unfortunately, it is on all guns. Not all guns. I don't know that. But it does look like it's going to be on multiple weapons. Good news, guys. Dolphin diving is back. I seen it in the trailer. This guy dolphin dived over a wall, and then you get to see the undershot of him landing on the ground. It's pretty cool. I've always liked dolphin diving. It's always fun to just, you know, just mess around and dolphin dive. It's pretty cool that they brought it back. 
Okay, and in this image, you see the kill streaks, or not so much the kill streaks, but you see the custom class, well, the next one that they showed you um, on this. And if you notice that he is running a dual side, so that attachment is going to be in the game where you have the two sides, which is pretty cool. But what you do notice in the next following images is that it does change from the red dot to the ACOG without having that. Ah, oh, that angry little animation where he flips the switch and then you gotta unscope and then rescope. It's just a flawless switch between the scopes, which I do like that they did. I did find it a little bit ridiculous that you did have to unscope, switch it, and then rescope. I like how it's the flaw, not the flawless, but the smooth finish between the two scopes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the video and you'll see it. Okay, in this picture, it does seem that there is an equipment that does do a directional stun. It does look like it slows the down EMPs them, just like the throwing one, but this one's directional. I don't know about the range or how far it goes, but it does look like it does have some range. Not cross map, it appears like, but some range. Because in the next image, as you can see, it does get them across the bridge and it stuns both of them. I don't know if it also blinds you or what the effects are exactly. All you do know and see is that it does slow you down so far and that you probably can't see the guy. Okay, in this image, you see the next custom class that is coming up and they're showing you on the screen. And if you notice on the custom classes, you can actually choose not just the three perks and then the next three perks. You can actually choose two perks that are in the same category, one, two, and three. You can choose them right next to each other, which is pretty cool. Okay, in the following two images, you'll be able to see that little bird I can't remember what the name of it is it's I, I can't even remember what the name is and it's been too long since I've seen it but you do see the image of it and then you get to see the controls of it or the way that you look as you're using it I thought that was pretty cool I thought I would show you that it does look like it does not take much damage to kill them it looks like it only takes a few bullets and it looks pretty cool okay in the following images you're gonna see some riot shield activity and I I wanted to really cover this because I've liked the riot shield but I think they underplayed it and not made it as good as it could have been in modern warfare and modern war well not modern warfare but modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 I thought it didn't do good originally in modern warfare 2 they knew that the riot shield wouldn't do good so they made commando for the riot shield specifically that's what they originally made it for but they didn't have proficiency back then so you know, they just made a perk for it. But unfortunately, as most of you know, everyone started using it for lunging. But yeah, if you're wondering why they put in Commando, it was for the riot shield. But anyways, if you notice in these stills, it fir first image you see is of the guy in the riot shield. And then if you also notice in there, he's holding the gun because if you notice in the trailer, he sets down his riot shield and then he stands up and shoots over it. So it now appears that you can just set down your riot shield, plant it in the ground, you know, use it as a portable defense, stand up above it, shoot him, and then you can duck behind cover. Because if you notice in the gun barrel images that I show you, there's one of him behind the riot shield, and then the next image is him standing up above the riot shield. So it does look pretty cool that you can now finally plant it. I'm glad that they're doing more with the riot shield. Okay, in the next images, you're going to see that big old tank theme that everyone's been talking about and how it's going to come into the map. Okay, the first thing you see on the video is a helicopter come in, and then all you see is a big crate explode and zooms in, and you see this guy. And what I'm going to be showing you in these next three images is first the actual kill streak itself, and then I'm going to show you the helicopter that brings it in the box that it comes down in and then exploding I don't know if it's gonna be like a care package where it falls down in the map and then you have to go and capture it and then you get into it and you start controlling or you just basically like the Osprey Gunner you pull up a laptop you choose where you want it to drop it drops you get in and you start controlling the sucker it might be like the Osprey Gunner or it might be like the care package if you didn't really hear what I said it's either you throw it down and you gotta go capture it you get it now you control it or you get into it or something but what I think it's gonna probably be is like is like the Osprey Gunner where you pull up a laptop you choose the location where you want it to drop and then once it the whole thing of it coming into the map and dropping you start controlling it straight from wherever where you just set it down that's how I think it's probably gonna be controlled it does look pretty powerful you know it looks like it's gonna pack a punch but once again probably it's only gonna take like an RPG or something to take it down so yeah looks pretty cool I'll have fun with that Okay, YouTubers, in this last scene, you're going to see this creative class where he has six perks, a pistol, and then three kill streaks. And this is the image that I absolutely knew I was right when I talked about before about the custom classes, how you get to choose ten boxes or ten slots to fill in. And that's how it works. That's why I wanted to show this last one, and I was showing all the ones in, anyways in the first place. But I did want to show you this is where I actually came in with it.
So, yeah. Yes, the Tomahawk is back. Yes, I love the Tomahawk from Black Ops. I love how it bounced around. You know, eventually it lost its power. But I hated the throwing knife in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Because if you didn't throw it at the right angle, it wouldn't bounce. And I found in Black Ops, it was a lot cooler that you can look to the wall and ricochet off of here and there and get a person. Hopefully, that's how it still works. I don't know if it does. But still, it's going to be pretty cool to have the old Tomahawk back. Okay, in this next image, what you see is a sniper rifle, or what I believe to be a sniper rifle. You see him line up the shot, shoot him with a one-hit kill, and then the following image, you see him pull back what believes to be a bolt action. So I believe it to be a sniper rifle, and the reason why I want to show you this is because if you did not know, in World at War, what you had when you had sniper rifles is a regular sniper rifle, but you didn't have a scope on it. You had to earn your sniper rifle scope, and I've always liked it, you know, running around and boom, boom. I've always liked it because then you can actually use your sniper for close quarter combat without having to do that whole quick scoping from Modern Warfare 2, what it became famous for. You know what I mean? That's what I like. You can run around, boom, you can use all your stuff. And I, I liked it. Okay, and the next two images, I just wanted to show this really quick. Because in Black Ops, you had what, what was the RCXD, which you can drive around and then blow up someone. And this is what it appeared appears to be is another RCXD because you see a dolphin diving straight down and then in the next image you see a huge explosion next to the guy so what I believe is you get this drone that's flying up in the air you fly it around or maybe you deploy it from yourself you know you mean you just throw it up in the air and then you drive it around you see someone boom you ram him straight into him and kill him just like in the RCXD Okay, guys, in this next image, I know it may not look like the most exciting image, and you go, hey, i already seen this image before, but it looks a little bit different. This I wanted to show you because the way it is. Originally, when I first seen this video, I thought this was a free-for-all match, and that's why it was only him going against them, and there was multiple people, multiple people shooting at each other because there was two people shooting at each other, and he killed both of them and got points. I figured it was a free-for-all, but then on this image, I noticed that it does appear to be a 3v3 uh, team deathmatch, or not a 3v3, but like a 3v3v3, because if you see in the top there, it shows first place, uh, 23 kills, second place, 23 kills, then third place, 22 kills, and if you notice on the mini map, it shows him and then two other green goblins on the video, or two other randoms, I call them green goblins, I'll make a video about why I call them green goblins, but anyways, so it appears that you have three-man teams in this special kind of team deathmatch. I thought it was cool, a brand new game mode. I'm not actually like that. A new twist on Spec Ops. Seems pretty cool. Thanks for watching, and if you guys want to learn about my $20 gift card giveaway, click the annotation on the screen. And if you guys want to join my Call of Duty Elite clan, but you don't know how to, I have a tutorial on how to make a Call of Duty Elite account, and how to join my Call of Duty Elite clan. Click the annotation on the screen if you want to learn more about that. And if you guys want to do a dual commentary with me, I have a video on how you can do just that. Click the annotation on the screen. Okay guys, I'm Monkey Dragon. That's all I got. Peace!